This is the Everest obstacle behind me here. And this is one of those obstacles that we've, we've had it for about a year now and I think its reputation is starting to precede itself. Definitely one of our more complex obstacles in terms of a, a build. It takes about 150 man hours to construct this thing. It weighs about uh, three tons, generally about 15 feet. So it's a pretty massive obstacle, mostly plywood with uh, what they call FRP on the front of it to, to give it that nice uh, slickness. So we wanted to, to have a design that we could uh, build anywhere. Let's create something where you really have to run hard to get up it and if you can't quite get there, you're gonna slide all the way back down. It may be a little bit painful. It's gonna be uh, mentally something that uh, is gonna grate on you and, and emotionally if you've got people here uh, watching you. From time to time, we might put a little uh, lubricant on there. We've tried some soap, we've tried just plain water. Probably the best one is we'll use a little bit of vegetable oil. Participants don't even know that uh, we're putting it on there until they're uh, finding themselves sliding backwards. You do see a lot of different uh, tactics employed out here. The best way to get up Everest is to start as far back as you possibly can and then to hit a sprint right away. The people that really do attack it, run as hard as they can and then jump at that exact right moment are the ones who can get up there by themselves. You really do need to have a lot of teamwork on this obstacle and it is really uh, because of that one of the best and one of the most fun obstacles as well. You'll see people hanging out up top sometimes for 20 minutes, half an hour, helping everybody who comes along. People had formed a human chain going up the obstacle so you had to sort of climb up a whole chain of mutters just to reach the top. You think Initially you think, oh teamwork, the team that you're participating with but when you're out there, it's actually everybody is on your team. She's fierce. <laughs> She's way fierce. And very few people can run up it on their own. Random people helped me, so I stood up there help a couple more people up. Strangers helping each other out, you know, it was great. That kind of teamwork is kind of inspiring. You had to run as hard as you Woo! could and just jump and hope somebody grabbed you, otherwise you were ass out.